Okay, here we are with the little portable again. Tackling the spring. The spring is out. The problem with the spring is not that it was broken. It's just weak, as I demonstrated in the last video. Just didn't have enough steam to push through even a, a good condition 10-inch record, which this should have easily done. It happens. You know, they get old, well used. There's just not a lot of spring left in that, as you can see. Luckily, in my supply of old springs, I buy these when I see them, I found a replacement that will do the job. Same measurements. This one was a favorite quality mainspring by the favorite manufacturing company, Phonograph Supplies in New York. Original selling price, 90 cents. Or is that 904? But no, I think that's 90 cents. And in case anybody's interested, that was spring number 437. And here's the measurements. Favorites, it fits Heinemann, United Columbia Victor, also barrels measuring two and three quarter with pear-shaped holes. This is a little slightly larger than two and three quarter, but that's okay. It'll still work. It'll fit. And we will put it in there and see if we can get, get it to play a record. You never can tell with these new old stock springs. I mean, this is new. It's never been in a machine before. However, it's probably pushing close to 100 years old. So you never really know. I've used them old stock springs many, many times. Never had a problem. They always work very well. Good old world quality. Look at that. A little bit of crud on there, which is actually dry grease. You see some bluing on there from when they annealed it. And the original spring. Had that on it. CISA, C-I-S-A, 2P something. I'm assuming that is original, although you never know. You never know how much a machine was played, and if it broke, say, in 1935 and was replaced, how are you going to know? Not really. There's a little spring barrel that goes in. It's about the same size as a Swiss motor. In fact, that would have been my next stop, is uh, my... Supply of Swiss phonographs to see if one of them had a spring that might actually fit that. Because I do have a few spring barrels left over from other projects. And of course, what did I find? Nirona original. I probably saw that when I rebuilt this. Uh, must have been six years ago. Not rebuilt. Just serviced it six years ago, seven years ago. And forgot about it or somehow failed to notice it or understood what it meant. That is the manufacturer of this phonograph in Germany. Marketed in this country, you know, under different names, various names. But there we go. There's a quick look at the spring and the new spring and the motor and all of that stuff. There's the motor board out of the case. And to work.